Okay, day three of E3. We are still hanging in. Uh, we're almost there. Final stretch. I am very fortunate to be joined by Denise Kegler, who is the, the VP of Corporate Affairs for Nintendo. How are you doing, Denise? I'm great. I'm great. How are you doing? Not too bad, you know. Enjoying the Hanging show? in there. Yep, yep. It's a lot of fun, a lot of work, you know. It's, no we, work. We, no we, work. All play. No work. We do it because we love it. Yeah. So, yeah, um, so you guys had your press briefing earlier this week. Yeah. Um, What'd you think? It was, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I mean, I, 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 felt, I felt satisfied by the stuff that I saw, having been a Nintendo fan since I was you know, six or seven years old, but you know, not not to beat around the bush too much, but you know, last year the the press briefing kind of took a little flack for the focus on sort of the mainstream. You know, I mean, this came from sort of a long time the, the quote unquote hardcore fans. Yeah. So, did you guys have that in mind this year when you were kind of planning out? what to emphasize and what to announce at the press briefing? You know, certainly important for us to show that we do make games for everybody. And you're being kind in your description for, of last year, so I appreciate that. But, um, you know, we show games when we're ready for the games to be shown. And this year we were very um, pleased and happy that we had such a broad base of games ready to be shown, including many core games. And the feedback that we got um, was very, very positive. You guys were very kind, have been very kind. In, um, in acknowledging that we did show games that appeal to core gamers and also recognize that we do have that very um, uh, large base of, of expanded audience members. So what the feedback that we're hearing to our media briefing has been very good, that Nintendo, you show that you, you, make, you, you care about the core and you show that you care about the expanded audience. So the balance was there, so we were very pleased with that, with that feedback. How much is the Motion Plus going to be a focus for you guys? I mean, do you... I mean. Miyamoto talked at, at his Q&A about, you know, he envisions the next Zelda as possibly requiring it. You know, you've got some other sports games, you know, Red Steel 2. There are some games coming out that, that will require it. Do you envision a time when the Motion Plus is just, you know, required for every game? Is that is that integral to the Wii experience, or is that just sort of another way for people to, to play? Well, it's certainly, Wii Motion Plus is certainly a, a, a way for that um, experience to be, to be more immersive, more intuitive, um, and that's a great thing, right? So it's a more of a challenging, uh, precise gameplay experience for consumers and for, for gamers, and so we're excited to bring that kind of technology here and now on the show floor that you can actually experience today. Um, the, the response that we're seeing to Wii Sports Resort on the show floor is phenomenal. I mean, just the lines to play archery, and what I'm hearing is people play like, wow, that is picking up really every movement. You know, you pull, and that response, it doesn't get any better than that. When, when, when um, gamers can actually say to you that they're actually feeling the excitement that I mean it's one thing for us to say hey try it you're gonna love it it's gonna more it's more precise more one-to-one -one movement your, the flick of your wrist it's another thing to have a gamer come up and say wow you know what everything you guys said it does it actually does and it's so much fun and I can totally get into the game there's nothing better than that so to be able to bring that technology and that software to E3 to have all of you guys play it is um, is great for us um, there are no plans right now. I think you were asking whether every single Wii game would would um, make um, you'd only be able to play Wii, Wii Motion Plus or utilize Wii Motion Plus as opposed to the Wii Remote. Uh, we have no plans to, to 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 make that the case. We're certainly though thrilled to have Ubisoft um, um, showcase such a commitment to to the technology and making Red Steel 2. Um, exclusively compatible with Wii, Wii Motion Plus. So having our licensees put that kind of vote of confidence on this technology is is pretty pretty cool. So we're, we're happy to see that. So uh, as, a, as a recent DSi owner, uh, I was very interested. Yeah, I, I love the system and I love the potential in DSiWare. Uh, the releases have not been coming maybe as fast as I would like so far. I was hoping for some announcements at the show on, on that front. I mean, you guys have got a new uh, Mario vs. Donkey Kong actually next week coming out, but uh, I'm, I'm sure you can't give away any specific secrets, but could you maybe kind of give us a hint as to when we could see some more announcements on the DSiWare front, maybe like virtual console kind of stuff or anything like that? Yeah. I'll tell you. All right, all right. Well, you guys, you, guys, you guys will just have to find out about that later. I'm sorry. Very cool. Uh, well, Denise, I want to thank you very much. I know that you've got a busy show going on, but uh, we really appreciate you taking some time out. So, cool. Thanks.